Hello everyone, this is Sean Jay-Z. In today's video tutorial, we are going to learn to create a fantasy effect from a day-to-day -day image using Adobe's Photoshop. Something like this. All these blue glitters, effects and all those stuffs. Okay, then let's get started. First thing first, create a new document. 800 by 800. Okay. Next, you need to select a cool image, a mysterious looking image, maybe something like this, this, and I've selected this, okay, and with NAB's Photoshop CS3. Next thing I'm going to need is to crop this. I don't need much of the image, so basically it depends on what you're going to need. So what I'm going to do is just for uh, now select this part. Okay, need to sample it. Okay, and drop it onto your canvas. Control T. Okay, enter. That's done. Next thing, your background. Select your color. Maybe I kind of went for a blue color, you know, something like this. Press Alt Delete to bring in the foreground color. And select this layer and change it to luminosity, the blending mode. Now, as you could see, there's a lot of brightness here. So, what we could do is make this blue some more darker. Click on OK, press Alt Delete, oh sorry, in the background, Alt Delete, OK. Um, I think that this image, there's a lot of highlight here, so what we could do is select this layer, there are different other techniques to do this, but we kinda can check out which one makes the thing what we want faster, OK. This that's great okay what we could do is go to image adjustments shadow highlight increase the highlight up to 100 let's see and reduce the shadows to zero you can see the difference now okay. if you need to darken these parts too what you could do is just take your lasso tool that would be L on your keyboard and just select all these overall areas that you're gonna need to be darkened. Okay. Once you've done that, right click, feather it up to around 30, and go to image adjustments and levels. And in levels, just reduce the black. To set line and click on OK, and we've got it. Okay, okay, that's done. Next, next, make another copy of the girl's layer, then select the layer one and the background layer and press Ctrl E on your keyboard all set next thing we need to blur the upper layer a bit so what we do is we blur it around 3% 3 pixels that's doing great next press E on your keyboard get the eraser tool the same time double click the top layer make sure you switch on inner glow click on ok and start erasing the reason why i ask you guys to switch on inner glow is because it's then you'll be seeing the line or what you are erasing you know okay so this 
you guys think that cropping it would be easier you guys can carry on but using the razor tool it kind of makes uh, you as we are humans we make mistakes so that mistakes even those mistakes might turn out to be a cool effect so whatever you guys like is if it's an urgent job or something you have no other option but to do it quicker then I think the lesser tool is great but if it's something not much urgent and you need very good you know creativity and all the stuff then I think the eraser technique is much more cooler than the other okay keep on erasing it's a time consuming job but come on okay there's this missed a part and this waste this part too okay that's done with it and that's in the way you could make the final adjustments okay that's done next selecting the we'll rename this as a uh, blur. blur okay selecting the blur layer purity filter render and lighting effects lighting effects select the light type as omni and you could increase and decrease the size by just pulling in one of those points so say you want this is going to be our moon so i think my moon's cool now okay i'll be done that click on ok So when the again writing a fake put the guy down. Click on OK. Okay, that's done the trick. 